So Konami has lost their minds, and I'll go into why. Now, Konami themselves as a company have been dying out a slow and brutal death. It's because they don't know how the hell to make an intellectual property anymore. They don't know how to make a fucking game anymore. This is just apparent. Most of the Silent, Gales, or Silent Hill games excuse me, that came out of recent have been decent, if not very bad. It's been a bracket between two. Decent to very bad. Decent to very bad. Decent to very bad. Decent doesn't sell a lot of copies, though. Decent does not sell a lot of copies, though. It sells enough to make people get a good assessment of your brand, saying, okay, they totally killed and butchered this said brand. Fuck this series. Some people still like the uh, Silent Hill games and say, I'm going to still buy these games. They're good. They're fantastic. You people just need to appreciate these games a lot more. It's like, no, and nobody needs to. They don't have to. If they see the game shit or they don't think it's good or looks good, they don't have to buy it. That's the power of a demographic of folks who just simply look at a game based off the flavor of ice cream they see in the, the barrel and say, I don't want that flavor. I don't want to eat it. It's sort of like you're vexing people to buy or play these games that quite frankly they don't want to play because they're bad, or in this case to them, it's their bad. So, let's go back to the subject at hand now with Konami. They're pursuing and focusing on mobile games aggressively, meaning they're going to be making that their central pinpoint. They're going to be focusing on games such as Power Pro, which is a baseball game, if you don't know what the hell that is, a Winning Eleven, which is a soccer game, or a football game some people in the UK, if, of course, you are into that sort of thing. Now, they're basically going to be doing a pay-as-you-go model, meaning you have to pay to play or play as you go, and that's how it is. Now, additional content will also be on sale as well, such as cosmetics and features and items. So in better words, they're nickel and diming everybody too. So in better words, they're taking themselves and their integrity as a company and throwing it into a bin. That's generally what they're doing at this rate. Because if they made this optional on top of the other stuff they're putting out, I don't see a problem. Anyone probably would not see a problem. There's always a demographic for this sort of thing at the end of the day, but it's not a good demographic for the majority of folks who are very interested in your product. Now, there are going to be putting games out such as Metal Gear Solid 5 and Winning Eleven, still I'm thinking, but other than that, we're all just pretty much getting the big middle finger. We're all getting the big old you-know-what in our butts, and that's generally going to be it. Which is very unfortunate, which sucks a lot of you-know-what. So, either way, I just am just a mixture of disappointed with Konami and just whatever about Konami. Because most of the games they have put out recently are not horrible, horrible, such as the games such as Lord of Shadows 1 and 2. The handheld games weren't so bad. I mean, most of the games they put out recently weren't so bad, they just weren't games that were going to sell them a lot of copies because they weren't polished. Exception, of course, to Lord of Shadow. That one was actually pretty decently good. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Personally, I'm just over this shit now. I'm just personally looking at Konami and just saying these guys are a fucking joke. <laughs> I mean, there's just nothing more to them anymore. They've turned in from an indie company that was putting out games as a Famicom to this Nintendo and other platforms of your choice to mention into a company that's a freaking laughing stock now. It's just, it's sad that this company had such innovative and creative games turned into a very, very, very shallow and very dry well. Which, unfortunately, that's the lifespan of most gaming companies if they don't know how to balance themselves correctly. You know, Valve did the smart thing, and even though they should make an, or should make Half-Life Episode 3 or Half-Life 3, but Gabe doesn't believe in 3s. So we're all going to cry in our hands and probably not give a shit about the game in a couple more years from now, like we already have done. So, anyway, what do you guys think? Touch my nipples. See you later.